So I have another little gizmo gadget. This is not electrical related that I'm going to put on this unit. Um, it's a really good idea. I happened to be driving on my service route, saw this old home built uh, motorized snow sleigh. Um, I don't know how to insert picture here uh, when uploading these videos. Um, so maybe I will just, um, after this clip is done, if you want to see what this sleigh looked like, I'll just upload some pictures, still pictures of it. But it was really cool. It was home built and it literally looked like a sleigh. It had a big metal sloped front, probably built in the fifties or so. Um, big wide metal skis, uh, twin tracks, and they was using an engine like this. It was all made out of heavy steel and iron and it was just a heavy looking thing, you know? And if an engine like this can power that thing, it had a side-by-side -side seat like out of a Jeep, like a jump seat. Two people can sit side-by-side -side and like you're riding in a sleigh. It's really neat. Um, but the one thing I noticed on there that I thought I could use that on my machine was a ski stabilizing system. So these skis on here, I'll show you, they have some play in them. See that? Get this wire out of here. Let's neaterize the place a bit. There we go. So see that? Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking, you know, being that I should have been an engineer or a physics professor, that driving the machine and those two skis are skipping around like that, it's going to want to pull the machine and dart in weird directions. And that must be what that guy with that snow sleigh was experiencing as well. So what they did was they took a metal rod and they connected it from one nose of one ski to the other nose so that it, it kept both skis from floating independent of each other. They were basically linked with like a tie rod. Um, I think I might do something like that on here. I'm pretty sure these handles on these skis are, are just straight up plastic. I don't think there's any metal running through them. I don't know. I'll put a magnet to them and find out. But if, that, if they're plastic, I'll just drill a hole through the handle. And then I'll take a piece of black, half inch black gas pipe and make it <clears throat> to the width between this grab handle and that grab handle. And then I will weld nuts in the, with my TIG welder in the end of that, end, each end of the pipe. And then I can drill a hole through these plastic handles and run a bolt in from the other side. And I'll essentially have a solid bar. Now, I was racking my brains trying to think of how to make a grab handle for the front of this thing. In case I got to lift it up over something or move it left or right or whatever. Like you would a snowmobile if you get it stuck. And uh, that might just provide me a grab handle to grab onto. I mean, I could grab both the loops on the skis and do the same thing, but I don't know. Or if I got to have a winch point to winch it out for some reason. But I know one thing for sure, it'll keep both skis locked together so they don't want to float independently and move around like this and cause tracking issues. The tracks don't, the skis don't steer, they're just straight line. So might as well just lock them up tight. 